Hey guys, so this video is a response to a comment that was posted on my video when I talked about what I would share to my 20 year old self. And this is a response to Ian Meds. So first of all, Ian, thank you for being vulnerable and thank you for sharing everything that's going on with you. And basically what Ian wrote was he wanted to change his life and he listed a really, really big list of all of the obstacles, all of the challenges, all of the things that he's struggling with all of the problems and why it's so hard. If this is something that's happening to you and you are really, really familiar with all the struggles in your life right now and you want to overcome it, you want to change your life, here's the first thing that you need to do. You need to realize that whatever you put your attention to is whatever is going to grow in your life. So if you are constantly focused on all of these problems, you're going to create more of these problems because your attention is your energy. Your attention is what allows you to create your life. And if your attention is on all of your problems and all of your struggles, then you're only going to create more of it. How do you create more problems and struggles? First of all, when you are constantly focused on problems and struggles, you feel stressed, you feel frustrated, you feel stuck. That emotion, causes your mind to continuously see more problems and more struggles. Number two, if you want to go and focus on what you want to do in your life, you got to bring your attention there. And if your attention is constantly taken on the obstacles, you're not able to move forward with the action that you need to do. To accomplish what you want, you have to pay attention to the action, the steps to get there. And when you have an obstacle that runs, that's in front of you, that you got to get past, you look at the obstacle and then you figure out what you can do quickly to move forward. And either you run through that obstacle, like a wall, you run through that wall or you go around it. Either way, you don't take your eyes off your goal. You don't take your eyes off what you need to accomplish. You only glimpse and take a look at the obstacle of that challenge for a very, very, very short period of time. Because the moment you start to focus too much on your challenge and too much on that obstacle, that problem, you take your eye off what you need to accomplish and you start to focus your attention now on that issue, on the problem. And now you start to feel those emotions that I talked about, the stress and the blockage and the frustrations. And those feelings does not support you in performing your best and to move forward with what you need to. So that's the very first thing. Just doing this alone is going to make really big changes in your life. So at this point, let's come into the next step. Now that you know what you need to do, you have to make small changes. So you first decide on why you need to do this, which is what I just explained. And now that this makes sense to you, now you're going to go and figure out what is it that you want to accomplish and what is the very first step. Now, at this point, if you don't know the very first step because it looks so complicated and all you see again is challenges, then what do you do? And the best answer is do something. Even if that something may not be the best move, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's the best move. The fact that you are moving away from your problems means you're moving in the right direction. Even if you are going a little bit off to the side, it doesn't matter because the moment you stop paying attention to those issues and you start to move forward in some direction, you are moving away from problems and moving towards your goal. So now every day you are focusing on what you need to do. And every day, little by little, your mind is not focused on the issues as much and focused a little bit more on your goal, what you need to do, accomplish it. And when you run into those challenges, when you run into things and you feel like you're stuck, again, you will go ahead and take a step forward to do your best to go through it or go around it. You know what this is going to take? Hard work. This is why the people that are willing to put in the hard work are the people that make it. And the people that aren't, they've got all the excuses in the book. Every one of them are valid. But the end of the day is they don't get to go where they want to go. Okay. 
It's just part of the process. That's the answer. Don't get stuck in learning. So many people that I find are stuck in learning. They're stuck listening and learning and learning and studying and planning and trying and wanting and just waiting for that right time. And they never done anything. All they have are theories. All they have are plans. All they have is this idea. Theoretically, this will work, but they never done it. And they're still standing at the starting line. Either you win or you learn. But this can only happen when you move forward and take that action. So don't get stuck in that. Move forward. Don't worry about all the plans. Make up a quick one, have a general idea. And as you move forward, you're gonna be able to figure out what your next steps are. You're gonna figure out and you're gonna learn quickly. You'll get the feedback that you need immediately. And you will start to attract the people and the opportunities that allow you to get to that next step. Don't be afraid to fail. Thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below. Let me know what other videos you want me to make to help you move forward with your life, to help you be able to feel better inside your body, to let go of all the emotional stuff, to be able to reprogram your mind or to be able to transform your body.